Sexy Smolder, we're doing your semi-classic smoky eye, but with a twist. Normally, when you're doing something that is really diffused and intense, you would do a softer cheek and lip. But I think the more modern approach is to actually pair it with something that's a little bit more vibrant. So we're gonna go with more golden and brown shadows. Of course, a little liner, mascara to tie it all in. And from there, we're gonna tie it in with pops of color on the cheek and on the lip. All right, I'm gonna start off with our eyeshadow application. So I'm using our waterproof shadow liner in cashmere as our all over base shade. It's something that is just absolutely, absolutely modern. You're going to start at the lash line and blend up to just below the eyebrow. Next, I'm gonna do a light dusting of champagne shadow over it to really give it that high wattage glow that I want for this look. I'm using it with a more fluffy watercolor brush and I'm just going to take the shade and just dust it lightly over the lid. Just see how that just really helps to electrify the color. All right, now we're gonna walk through how you get that sexy smolder. We're gonna go back to our classic cream eyeliner and I'm gonna use Midnight Brown. I'm gonna use our angled liner brush as well as our double-ended smudger. I'm gonna start by applying the color with our angled liner brush and I'm gonna start right at the lash line. I'm gonna take the color and literally draw it into the bed of the lashes really just drag it across. You don't have to be really, really neat with this, simply because we want it to be soft, we want it to be sexy and more smudged. And you're gonna kinda just go with the natural definition of the eye. Now I'm gonna take my double-ended smudger and I'm gonna really just kind of diffuse the color and work it out. All right, so one of my insider secrets are using the cream eyeliners on the inner rim. It really does help with just blending and just to tie all the colors into the eye. I love to use it with the number 20 brush or a double-ended shadow brush, and I'm just gonna take it and get right in, really close on the inner rim of the eye, almost like I'm painting the lashes. I'm gonna really stick also to that outer corner of the eye. I'm not gonna go all the way in. This is where we wanna apply our more golden sh shadow. I'm getting really close and tight in at that lash line. See how it just really helps to pop the eye color? You're just gonna apply it on the bottom, not on the top. Keep it strictly on the lower lash line. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush um, it's more of my loose hair brush, and I'm gonna really just get in at the lash line. I'm gonna really just soften all the hard lines. You'll notice what I'm doing is I'm going from the lash line to the crease, look up, from underneath and around. I'm really just help, I'm just really trying to define the natural eye shape because this look is a really soft and diffused application of color. So the last step before mascara, because we all know mascara ties the look in, is my placement of the gold shadow on the inner corners. I'm using a burnished gold and ambient. I'm gonna take again my double-ended shadow liner and I'm going to tap the color right into that inner corner. Oh my goodness, just look what that does. And the great thing about gold and browns, they're very forgiving. Any eye tone can wear it. It looks great on brown-eyed girls, on hazel-eyed girls, blue, Green. Anyone can wear these tones. It just really pulls the gold out of the eye. We're gonna finish the eye application, of course. Mascara, and I'm gonna use a little bit of Bionic in black. I love this mascara simply because you can actually drag it through the lashes. It gives you length and depth, and that's what you want to, to really offset this gorgeous, smoldering, smoky, sexy eye. As we all know, the best way to apply blush now, the more modern approach to blush right now, or any type of cheek color, is high on the cheekbones. So I'm always gonna start high on the cheekbones, working back to front. We really want that contoured, lifted look. That's the modern way to wear blush. Ogo is that cheek color that looks good on everyone. It's sheer wash of color, but it's bright, so you can't go wrong with it. No matter how much color you get, let's say that you know you started off as your winter blush, you can work it all the way through summer because no matter how much pigment you get, it will always work with your skin's natural tone. So because no pop is complete without a little bit of glow, I'm gonna use a little bit of artificial light and flash high on the cheeks just to really create that luminosity. And again, we wanna also create that luminosity throughout the skin, a little bit on the bridge of the nose, on that Cupid's bow, it's really gonna just make the lips look sexy and pouty. On the chin, as a highlight across the brows, just anywhere you wanna add that beautiful, beautiful glow. Last but not least is blush. I'm using blush brush and chiffon. I want something that's really gonna pop those cheeks and really tie everything in. 
And of course, we're gonna always start at the back and work our way forward. A really good trick is to apply your blush color, turn your brush on its side, and blend it in. It really helps to diffuse the look and cut down any harsh lines. So the final step on our makeup application is lips. We're gonna start by applying our Pout Lipstick from our Photo Finish Lipstick Collection. Love it, it's a soft baby pink. I'm using my lip brush and I'm starting at the center. As you'll notice, I'm not really using a lip liner this time. It's not really about lip liner. It's more about just how fresh and sexy the lips can be. I actually am a firm believer that pink is a year-round color and you can wear it fall, spring, winter, summer, whenever. The right pink just gives you a very, really youthful look and adds brightness and color to the cheeks and lips. So no look is complete to me without that sexy pop of color that you get from gloss. I couldn't make up my mind which color to use, so I actually used Nonstop and Forever Mixed. I love a bright pink and a soft pink together. You just can't go wrong. You can never really have too much pink. There you have it. Our sexy smolder is that very sexy, very glowy eye. Something that can be worn day and night with that pop of color, you know, that bright pink on the cheek and bright pink on the lips. 